Eric Degatti here, One Human Performance. We're back at the whiteboard today with a concept I call past, present, and future. If you were to walk into my facility today and ask me to train you, and then ask me what we're gonna do today, my answer would be the same every time. I don't know. I don't know until I know these three things. Let's start with the past. I need to know what you're bringing into me. I need to know about your medical history and if there's any factors that need to be considerations there, as well as your injury history and if there's any limitations that I need to be aware of in that regard. I also want to know about what is your training experience. I can't tell you just go do a set of squats if you've never done a set of squats before. I need to know a little bit about what your training age and training experience is. Now when we get to the present, that's where my testing and assessment comes in. I need to know what your current state is, starting with your movement competency using something like the functional movement screen. Then from there, I need to know what some of your functional capabilities are in terms of your speed, strength, power, and so forth. So I not only have a baseline, but I need to know where to plot you on the continuum. And last but not least, I need to know what your daily demands are. I can't write the same program for someone who's working 50 to 60 hours a week versus an athlete who has nothing but time to dedicate to training. Now, even though we're discussing this in chronological order, I always start with the future. When you come in the door, the first question I'm going to ask you is, why are you here? What is your goal? The answer is usually one of three things or a combination of them. I wanna look better, I wanna feel better, and or I wanna perform better. My next question is, what is going to be our marker? How do we know when we've gotten there? Is it a specific 40 time? Is it a certain weight you wanna achieve? Or is it a certain activity that you can't do now that you wanna be able to do? Maybe something as simple as touching your toes. Last but not least, what is our timeline? Where are you at in your sports season? Do you have a specific time in mind or you just wanna get there as soon as possible? I need to know that so I know what our time restrictions are and what type of levity we're gonna allow in your program. Now, once we have all this information, now you have everything you need to write a great program.